Hi, everyone. Welcome to the Sheer Post YouTube channel. Uh, we are happy to be joined by Kevin Gostola. He's the managing editor of Shadowproof and the curator of the Dissenter newsletter. He is one of, if not the premier journalist on all things Julian Assange and WikiLeaks, as well as whistleblowers such as Chelsea Manning and Sheer Post contributor John Kiriakou. He has been covering these trials for over 10 years. And on Saturday, October 8th, Kevin spoke at the hands off Julian Assange rally in uh, Washington, D.C., alongside other esteemed speakers like Joe Loria and Sheer Post columnist Chris Hedges. Um, hi, Kevin. Thanks for being here. Thanks for the introduction. Yeah, of course. Um, so just, you know, hopping straight into it, you know, uh, can you set the scene for us? What, what was the atmosphere like at the rally and, you know, what kind of people did you talk to and what did they have to say about the moment? Yeah, it was a good group of people. Uh, the organizers who put it together did a pretty good job of turning out and getting, uh, I'd say there were several hundred people that were there. We were at the Justice Department building in DC. And the plan was to support Stella Assange and the surround parliament action that unfolded in London. And she spent months organizing people and it wildly exceeded expectations. And perhaps we'll come back to that. But I saw my presence there as solidarity for the fight that is unfolding and still uh, crucial at this moment to pay attention because there, there are appeals that are being heard by the High Court of Justice in the United Kingdom. Julian Assange is fortunately not in the United States yet, so there's a little bit of distance when it comes to the case. But that being said, it's still important for all of us to resist it because uh, he already was charged under the Espionage Act here in the United States. And I saw this as a, a moment to you know, leave my apartment, get out there and be with people and show that I wasn't just, you know, against it in the comfort of my home, but I was also against it standing shoulder to shoulder with people who are voices that speak out regularly, whether they're journalists, activists, or maybe they're more academic. But the group of people was uh, a good mix of, you know, your average activist uh, citizens who are uh, unusually engaged into the, in, with the case. And I mean that because uh, we know that there are actually uh, a good amount of people, unfortunately, who don't know who Julian Assange is as a person. And then uh, there were, uh, you know, there, there was a good number of people that were there. Even and, and even the organizers said that a lot of times they've had rallies outside the Justice Department and there's only been like 20 or 30 people and it's just you know, 10 speakers speaking to 10 people and it it's, doesn't even seem like it was worth it to come down and hold a rally, but this was not the case. And I think a lot of that had to do with the visibility that Stella brought to the day's global action. And you said that uh, at the protest that there was around five to 10,000 people in um, London protesting, I think. Uh, is that yeah. right? Yeah, that and was is that a sign that is that a sign that the movement is is growing or um, or or is at least, you know, keeping the steam that it had a couple years back? I think that what it shows is there are enough people who are engaged, who can mobilize and take action and show the press that people do want this to come to a halt immediately and that it's not just attorneys and the family of Assange that believe that this is an unjust and political prosecution but that you know there are all, there's already thousands of people who at any moment you could get to do a demonstration or engage in a march or come out there and do something creative like this that shows the energy of people. And I, I, you know, I give a lot of credit to Stella for coming up with this action that broke the mold of the standard boring, come out, hear some people speak, march a mile and a half, two miles, end in an area, hear some more speak, people speak, 
Thank you for coming out today. We'll see you at the next rally. Like this was something that she spent more than a couple of months getting people to pledge to be part of a chain link to surround parliament in the UK. And then she got them out there and she got them out there even when the public transit system there, the workers who are, uh, that do the labor, they were on strike. And so there was disruption to the train service on that day, but yet people still managed to come out and they know that there were thousands of people because that's how many it would take to surround parliament. So she had every individual pledge to show up that day. And then those people came to London. We didn't do that kind of a thing in uh, at the Justice Department. Uh, we did do a, a march around the building, which was a nice addition. People had a yellow ribbon. Uh, the organizers prepared this yellow ribbon that had free Assange printed on it. And some of the speakers uh, and others carried that ribbon. And it was probably a couple hundred feet. And they carried that ribbon around the building uh, to create that image of encircling the Justice Department. And that was obviously a nod to what was going on in London or what had been done in London. And, uh, you know, I was, I, I took on my role as a member of the press and I was taking photos and video of that and sending it out to people to show everyone what we were doing. And uh, that was a nice a touch by the organizers to make it bear some re resemblance to what people had done in London.